hello students welcome to your computer class so i hope you are learning the things and as in the previous classes uh, we have covered some important concept of the filtering in ms access so we have seen how to filter the data by selection and how to filter the data by form so in the selection method we have seen that for displaying or filtering any data what we have to do we have to select any uh, you can say select any term or the data and on the basis of that selection we filter the whole table for example in the dance if there is any dance form like Kathak or Bharatanatyam so if you want to get all the names of the students who are taking who are learning the Bharatanatyam so we can do this by filtering the data by selection and for that we have already seen how to do that we select the data when we go to the home tab then in the selection filter record we will uh, set this criteria that equals to Bharatanatyam so it will give you the result in that form and we can easily filter it out clear so as here you can see we have practically done this in the previous classes then the next we have seen was filtering the data by form so filtering the data by form here it, it gives you the opportunity to use the AND and OR feature clear so what what is the meaning of AND and OR suppose you want to use true uh, two criteria like suppose a name uh, um, suppose a student is having a dance form Bharatanatyam and also if you want to uh, use the second parameter as the transportation is a school bus so this will be the two criteria that you want to select all the student who are learning Bharatanatyam and who are coming to the school by school bus clear so these two criteria when combined together they will be called as and using the and criteria we will do this in the uh, for the filtering of the data by using the form clear so we have already seen this how to use this and when you go to the home tab then in the advanced option we have uh, this uh, filter data by form clear so when you click this filter data by form we get a blank replica of the table and in which we can choose the different field and the values of that clear so if there are two fields two values you want to select so you can select two fields one by one or even more than two it is up to us that how many uh, values you want to use using the AND clear so when you use any one or any two of these the same field can be selected and that can be uh, seen using the toggle filter clear so this will give us the result then we have seen how to use the OR so for using the OR when you go to the advanced button then in the filter data by form first we select one field and the value which we want as the criteria they can uh, then second thing we have we are using the or feature so here at the bottom tab there is the or option clear so if you want to choose any data like suppose someone is learning Bharatanatyam or Kathak clear so this can be a or condition so this way we can filter the data filter the uh, form filter the data by using form using or condition clear then we have started how to change the table table view so if I show you once again let us come to our table so here this is our table so in this if you want to switch the view so how to change this view right now this view which we are working on this is the data sheet view and if you want to change it to the design view if I come to the home tab then in the home tab we have view button click on the view button and then we have the different views so if right now it is in the data sheet view if we want to switch to design view let us click on the design view clear so this is the design view in which we can we can change the uh, you can say change the structure of the table structure of the table means we can set primary key we can set uh, set various other parameters like if you want to change some default value clear so these all settings can be done in the 
design view we have already covered these things in the previous chapter how to modify the data in the design view clear right now we are in the design view okay now again if you want to uh, from design view if you want to come again to the data sheet view we have to go to the same file uh, home tab in the home tab we have the file uh, the view button in the view again if it is right now in the design view let us click on the data sheet view clear so this way we can switch from design view to data sheet view and the same can be done by using the design view and data sheet view options at the uh, bottom of the window clear now coming again to the textbook so we have seen how to switch to design view and how to switch to data sheet view so i hope this is clear design view is huge for the modification of the table for modification of the design of the table and data sheet view is used for you can say for entering the data clear so these two views and how to change the view we have seen now we have to see how to rename a field and how to add a field in a table so let us see how to rename a field this i think also was covered in the previous class let us revise this once again so renaming a field so if any of the field is there and if you want to change the name of the column header clear so that field name can be changed by how first we will right click on the uh, field of the name then a rename there will be a menu option choose the rename field and the field name is highlighted after that whatever the new name you want to enter you can enter that let us see it. So suppose in any of these if suppose it is written dance if i want to write dance form click on the field then right click on that then you can see there is a name of rename field clear so if on the rename field if i want to here right now it is highlighted now if you want to add something okay once again if you want to add something just simply keep on writing it so i want to write dance form okay so this is edited now press the enter key the name of the field is changed clear so this way we can modify any of the field name okay if we want to make it to the previous we have the option for undo but right now it is not being highlighted okay it means that this can't be done by using the undo option so let us make it again the previous name so here it is dance form only write dance clear so this was the earlier name of the field okay now next is next is how to add a field in the table so it may happen that if you want to enter some more data in the table and you want that a new column should be inserted clear for example if you want to add the address of the students if you want to save the mobile number of the students so right now the table doesn't have that column clear so in between if you want if you need some more data to be inserted you can do easily let us see how so adding a field in the table you can add a field to a table when you want to include an additional category of information what are the steps right click the name of the field that you want to be displayed after the new field a menu will appear click on the insert field clear so let us try to do this if we come to the r table so suppose you want to insert the address of the students so to the left of the transport in between student name and transport if you want wherever we want we will click that field to the left of which we want the data so right click on this and there is option for insert field here it is so click on the insert field just click now here we have the new field or the new column clear so if you want to choose the name of the field if you want to modify the name if you want to save your address write it at address 
now we can uh, include the you know, details of the student here with the address okay so this way a new field can be added now deleting a field in the table so whatever the field if it is there if you want to delete that field it is also very easy you can delete a field that you no longer need in a table right click on the field that you want to remove and click on the delete field a prompt box appear then click on the yes so let us delete this try to delete this so right now we have added the new field address if you don't need this field what we have to do again right click on this field and then we have the option for delete field here at the bottom clear so click on the delete field now this will give you error message not error message you can say it will give you a message or a prompt this is called as a prompt also so do you want to permanently delete the selected field all and all the data in the fields okay so if you want yes click on the yes so that new field which we have just created we can also create and also delete okay now let us read this also do you know a primary key a primary key field cannot be deleted in ms access clear so we already know what is the primary key primary key is the field which we have made as the primary key why because it is the field which uniquely identifies the different records clear so this is the important uh, part of the table that's why the ms access doesn't allow to delete the primary key clear okay now let us come to the next topic that is joining or creating relationship between tables so now we will see that if we are having two tables clear so we already know that in the database we can manage multiple tables at the same time clear so it is obvious that suppose there is uh, the database of the students where your uh, details is at the account department of the office in the school where your fee details your address your name your contact number is there and suppose there is a database in the library that some student has issued a book and and if you have not returned it so if you go to the no dues form so it will be required to check whether that student has completed and submitted all the dues he has submitted his books in the library so there are two databases one is at the account department and one is at the library department clear so this way it will be required to relate the two tables the same about the same we will read it here okay let us see so relation relational databases are powerful because they can contain multiple related tables clear so here we are seeing a new term that is relational databases clear so right now we are using uh, we are reading dbms that is database management system then we have a term that are dbms clear dbms already we know what is the full form of dbms database management system and we have a new term called as are dbms are dbms means relational database management system clear so relational database means the same which we are going to read now that the databases which are having the relation between two different tables which allows you to establish relation between two or more tables okay let us read this and see what is all about so relational databases are powerful because they contain multiple related tables yes because they are capable of handling more than two tables even more than 2 3 4 5 it is up to you that how many tables you want to be uh, related and to uh, you can say establish the relation relationship between those tables you can create relationships between table directly in the relationships window so we will have a options of 
relationship window in which we can establish the relationship clear and by establishing the relationship we can manage the different things for a relationship to exist between two tables there must be a common field it is obvious that if you are making a relation between two tables suppose as i was giving you example that there is the account department and one another is the library department clear and if you are establishing a relationship so at least the admission number or something like that should be present in the both tables to identify that the same person is present at both places clear so that is why whenever we uh, establish a relationship between two tables it is required to have at least one common field clear for example the student detail may have a student id field and a dance practice table clear so here as in our database which we are working right now so in that the, we have the student detail table in which the student id in our case we have written the admission number and the dance practice table may also have a student id table clear okay so here here is there are two tables let me change the color of the pen okay first erase this now so first table is student id student detail sorry student detail is the one table and another is the dance practice table clear so here the book is giving us an example in which we are having two table one is the student detail table and another is dance practice table now in the student detail table at least one field is there that is student id field which is unique or it can also be the primary key in for establishing a relationship it is required to us that we must have a common field in both these tables so this dance practice table also is having the student id clear as in the case of student detail we are having the student id field so in the dance practice table also we are required to have a student id field clear so that is why it is being said that it is essential to have a common field to establish a relationship this is obvious why because if there is at least a common field only then we can relate to that clear okay the two tables could be joined or related by that field so whatever the field which we are saying that that is common so using that field we can establish the relationship the field type must be same in both tables for a relationship to exist clear so we already know that the different field which we are using all of these fields are having some data type clear so this type also must be required to save you can see and uh, you can take example suppose in one field that uh, data is of text data type and in other field if it is number so will it be possible for us to establish the relationship answer is no why because it is required to have the similar type of data so if it is admission number in both cases so it is it must be the number data type or whatever it is auto number or you can say any such similar data type but it should be same for both of these tables only then we, we can establish the relationship okay we will see this practically then also it will be more clear to you now in most relationships the primary key field is in one table is related to field in other table that is not its primary key now these are the different things which we have already seen now about on the basis of those we are uh, moving further that what we already know what is primary key primary key is the unique key of each table which uh, makes the uh, record uh, di distinguished clear so by this primary key we uh, we can identify that all the records are separated clear so if primary key if we are making a relationship between two tables clear so in these two tables there must be uh, if i show you this on the table so clear so 
suppose there is uh, one table in which we are having the different fields clear so suppose this is uh, uh, you can say as we are talking about the account department and the library department so let us take the same example so suppose this is the account department and this is the library department okay so in the account we can have the different type of data suppose in the account department we are having the admission number clear admission number then fees details and suppose we are having the contact number i am just giving you example clear so this is something in the account department we are having this type of data in the library department we can have the admission number then the book of the name clear name of the book and then whether it is returned or not clear so we can have a column as status clear so we are having the two separate databases now you can see that in both of the places we are having uh, admission admission number as a common field so using this field we will establish the relationship between the two tables so that is why we are saying that at least a common so field should be there using which we can establish the relation between the two tables so we are reading here that in most relationships the primary key field is in one table is related to a field in the other table that is not its primary key okay so it also may happen when we are establishing the relationship the first one in the first one it is the primary key and in the second one it may happen that the uh, second field of the second table is not the primary key clear so if it is not primary key then it has a special name and that is called as a foreign key let us read this first okay let us it is and read it further so in one table the field contains unique values whereas in the other table it does it does not the relation sub field in the other table is called as foreign key clear so this is a new concept what is foreign key so foreign key is a key when we are which is required to establish a relationship between two tables so in one table there is the primary key which is the unique uh, key of uh, one table and when it is being uh, established a relation with, with the other table so in the case of other table the key using which there is a relationship established so that other key of the and the table is called as foreign key clear okay now the relationships are created and managed in a special data sheet view called relationship window clear so as we have seen uh, the data sheet view and design view so now we are having the relationship window so this relationship window will be used for making relationship between two tables clear you can create relationship between tables from there there means from relationship windows from there dragging a field from one table on to a field from another clear so whenever we are establishing a relationship between two tables what we are doing we are using the relationship window and in the relationship window we can uh, you can choose some field from one table and the some fields from the another table with which we are uh, going to establish the relations okay let us erase this and see further that go how the relationship can be established and what is the relationship window so here is click on the database tool tab clear so we have a tab at the right side which is the database tools click on the relationship button to display the relationship window clear so let us see in our case in our database also so here we are with our table we have to go to the database tools so this tab is here 
database tools is the tab here so what we have to do we have to choose this tab okay so let us come to the database tool now we have to click on the relationships okay so here is the relationships let us click on the relationships clear so this is a new relationship window where we will choose the different things okay let us first come to the book then see now the two steps we have covered the first step was we have clicked on the database tools then we have clicked on the relationship button to display the relationship window okay now let us see it further the relationship window appears if any relationship already exists between the tables in your database a box for each table appears in the window clear so if there is already existing any relationship then it will show a then it will show you a box for each table but right now in our case we don't we have not established any relationship that is why only um, you can say only one box is appearing to us now the show table dialog box may also appear listing all the tables in your database clear so here in our case here in our case we have uh, two or three tables which are appearing to us which is uh, in front of us so right now address detail and student details so these are the two tables one earlier which was deleted still it is visible to us so right now whatever the tables we have this is being shown to us clear the same it is talking about here also clear so the relationship window uh, uh, gives you the name of the tables which you are having in our database so here we are having the two tables that is why two tables are displayed in this show table dialog box okay then see the step third if the show table dialog box does not appear click on the show table button to display the dialog box clear so it may happen that this show table dialog box does not appear to you so to make it appear what we have to do we have to click on the show table so if we come to our database if it is maybe that if this table is not shown to us clear so if i close this and if we want to see that uh, for establishing the relationship what we have to so see it is the show table so here you can click also so this will open you the same dialog box okay so each and every steps we are seeing practically and we can verify the things if you have the pc at home you can also go this um, uh, together so we have seen till step 3 now coming to step 4 click on the table you want to add the relationship window clear so whatever the table you are choosing for establishing the relationship window we will select that then click on the add button to add table to the window repeat step 4 and 5 for each table you want to add clear so whatever the tables you want to select as the relationship window we have to select and uh, press on the add button clear and whatever the uh, number of times if you want to set two tables if you want to more than two we can if there are more than two tables we can add first and then whatever you are choosing they all will appear in this relationship window clear so here it is written step repeat the step four and five for each table that you want to add now step seven when you finish adding the tables to the relationship window click on the close button to remove the show table dialog box okay let us do the same in our relationship window so first we have the student details table i am clicking on add so here you can see this is the first table in which we are having the admission number student name transport and this different uh, things are uh, visible to us now if you want to add the another 
table in which we are establishing the relationship window so i have made a new table that is the address details in that we have the address so here i have clicked so all the tables in each of these tables the respective fields are visible to us clear so whatever the field name uh, which you want to see uh, which we want to establish the relationship they all are present we will now after doing if all the tables are uh, chosen on which you have to establish the relationship we can close this so table dialog box clear now we have to work on these new tables which are present in the relationship window okay so this is uh, we have covered till step 7 so in the coming class we will see how now what are the different other steps to work on this and how to establish the relationship okay so till now we have covered and revised the previous things as well as how to uh, join or create the relationship we have seen so you can read the book uh, once again wherever you have confusion you can take the questions in the coming online sessions so till then revise stay fit and healthy and let us meet in the next class with your doubts queries and also for explaining you the relationship in these ms access relationship window okay thank you everyone